Welcome into another Coach Speak. I got the head coach from Air Force with me, Frank Saratori. I haven't talked to you in a little while. Yeah, it's, got, it, it's been at least two <laughs> days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, miss, so, did uh, you miss me? Yeah. Okay, Honestly, I did. That's good. That's <laughs> I've good. been beating up with everybody else, so talking yeah. to guys up in Anchorage and, and your brother coming down to ASU now, so i got to grab him for a little bit. But um, That's an hour uh, out of your day. <laughs> Let's uh, let, let's talk a little bit about Bentley. Uh, talk about last weekend. Uh, you almost got the sweep. You battled back. Um, came back from a deficit Saturday. But what was uh, what was the weekend like overall for you? Well, I, I you know we showed some progress. I really like the spirit of our group and the physicality. I mean, uh, this team gets after it as hard as any team we've ever had. They're just young. They're just very very young. And uh, uh, on Saturday. Uh, uh, we, you know, we died of self-inflicted wounds. It was more of uh, Bentley didn't get much uh, that we didn't give them, and we gave them a little bit too much on Saturday. And uh, uh, they mounted a lead. We made a gallant comeback, but uh, but but we came up short. But overall, like it's it, it was positive. It, it's uh, we played hard both nights, and uh, we finished strong. And uh, again, the, uh, the the things that cost us the game on Saturday were. Things that are controllable and things that that we can get out of our game. Tell me a little bit about uh, the way things are coming together now. The guys have uh, seen a little bit of non-conference. They've seen a little bit of conference. Now you got a big uh, four games in what five days coming up with Sacred Art. Um, how do you look at the team right now? How how are they looking to you? Well, I think we we we're making progress. We're getting confidence. And again, like be, you know, before you can win, you first have to learn how not to beat yourself. And um, you know, last Saturday we we beat ourselves, and uh, we've got to eliminate some things. But we're getting confidence. I think uh, our guys really believe that they can be a good team, even though we're a very young team. I think I know that they believe that they can be a good team. And again, to, for us to, to to get over that hump and become the team that we have the potential of being, uh, we've got to tidy up some some habits. And and uh, you can't take uh, uh, bad penalties. Uh, you can't get caught up ice you can't uh get uh, uh get too many men on the ice penalties uh you there's not like there's that like uh, good teams don't go off sides or there there's there's just a a lot that goes to it and uh again if we can eliminate uh some of those things that that hurt us um you know like i said uh, uh we didn't lose last saturday so much and because they beat us, it was more. Hey, we put ourselves in in, in some in some tough spots, and uh, and uh, like any hockey team, uh, you know, part part of winning is uh, is minimizing your mistakes. Tell me about Atlanta hockey this year. What have you seen from the teams? Uh, anything surprise you yet? Uh, not at all. I mean, uh, they're deep. They're old. Uh, they're full of older players. They're full of transfers. They're full of graduate. Uh, uh, um, Graduate students, uh, it's like it's the new hockey. It's the it's the new landscape. It's uh, free agency is here, and uh, you know they, these teams don't. You know uh, their coaches they coach similar styles, but but uh, the teams don't uh, uh, as closely resemble one another from as they used to from year to year when there was more continuity with the, with the lineups. Now there's all kinds of changes and different kinds of types of personnel. And to be honest with you. Uh, there, we, we really have to look at the film, uh, you know, heavily. We always have to look at film, but you really have to look at the film now because, like I said, the, the dynamics of each of these teams are so much different than they were a year ago. Okay, so uh, you got Sacred Heart, as I said, four, day, four games in five days. Um, how do you prepare your team for something like that, Frank? Well, I, I mean, we, we, we're going to have a good practice today. We had a practice on Monday. We took yesterday off. We're going to go extremely, extremely light tomorrow on thursday i mean uh, we got four games in five days you only have like what i always say we only we only have so much gas in the tank you only have so much battery acid and uh we don't want to we don't want to waste uh, any battery acid or or any gas uh um in our thursday practice we need to see save that for the game so it is unusual i've never had a situation like this I, i've never played four games in five days uh at any level since youth hockey uh, we used to have <laughs> tournaments on the weekend when you were a little kid but uh never uh, had something like this in junior hockey or in college hockey so um you know hopefully uh we get uh, through it hopefully sacred heart gets through it um you know i i, I worry a little bit about the 
uh, the health and well-being of of the student athletes. Uh, playing four games and five nights with a, you know, in a in not a contact sport but a collision sport is, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, is probably uh, not something you want to sign up for all the time. Okay, so uh, I, I want to touch again because you and I have talked for a year and a half now about uh, the growth of hockey, but I just want to get your feeling now that some of these programs are being resurrected. Robert Morris is, uh, seems to be well on their path. Uh, UAA has uh, looked like they're in good shape. Um, you comfortable with what you're seeing? Well, I, I you know, I, I'm the first of all, I'm, I'm not the – I'm not the uh, the uh, the Don, the CEO uh, of uh, of college hockey. Um, yeah, we we want you to put we want to put you there. You know that, right? But uh, so I, I mean, I, what I what I can tell you, along with a dollar, won't buy a cup of coffee at Starbucks. So um, it uh, you know it's great that these programs are coming back. It's great that we have emerging programs. Uh, but you know my, my concern not concern but the question I have is you know where are these teams going to play I mean right. uh, uh, eventually you need to get into a league or how are you going to have a schedule and certainly how are you going to have a home schedule and uh, you know Arizona State can pull it off because they're Arizona State they're they're a, a Pac-12 school that's uh, located in a in, a, in an area that's desirable for people to go there. And um, some of these other schools, uh, you know, it, it just amazes me that they're going to come on. St. Thomas made sense to me. St. Thomas came on knowing that they were going to be, uh, get that they were going to go in, that they were going to get into the CCHA. Right. So they start a program and, uh, and, uh, and they knew they had a home. Uh, some of these other programs, uh, that's the big question I have. And I guess you'd have to talk to their athletic directors and, and, and ask them, you know, or, you know, how they've planned this out, what their blueprint is. Because, uh, you know, schools like, you know, Long Island and Lindenwood and now Alaska Anchorage coming back, even Alaska Fairbanks, um, you know, uh, uh, Robert Morris, uh, you'd have to ask them, are they back in Atlantic hockey? I, I haven't heard anything. And uh, but ultimately, um, I, the, these uh, all these programs need to to find a home in, within a, with a, within a league, and uh, um, you know, hopefully that happens. If it doesn't, you know, I, I, is it is it sustainable? Um, I don't know. I, it, at the very least, it's going to be uh, extremely challenging. Yeah, totally agree with you. Well, good luck this weekend. Uh, I won't see you again probably until after Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll see you on the. Uh, the backside of that uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Sounds good, Scott. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely.